And in Kaohsiung, the DPP has set a goal of winning a majority of city council seats. This led to nominate a relatively high number of candidates, while the KMT focused a smaller number in a bid to protect the seats it already holds. The DPP's latest newspaper ad includes a list of nominees for Kaohsiung City Council calling upon party members to show their support. We have a strategy for each district to help balance out support among candidates. For example, in Zoying and Nanzit districts, there is a gap between the candidates. We therefore hope to use this precise mechanism to allow us to get three candidates elected. As for the sixth election district of Qijin, Gushan and Yancheng, an area that has a total of four city councillors, the number of acting city councillors is evenly split between the KMT and DPP. The KMT is trying to maintain this number by nominating just two candidates and has asked supporters to vote by gender. Because we nominated just two candidates in this district, we are asking our male and female supporters to each vote for a specific candidate. Despite the best efforts of parties, local election culture and other variables may make the outcome difficult to predict.